Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the Most High God, how are you guys doing? How are you beautiful people doing on today, on a Saturday? I tell you, another busy day, another busy day. But thank God to be in the land of the living. I pray that you guys had a blessed day today. I pray that your day was amazing, amazing. And I'm not going to be before you long, but... If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. My name is Nee, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me. A prophetic word, a word of encouragement, scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome, welcome. And if you like that type of content, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and your notification bell. And like that video, as well as share it. I'm so glad to have you all here. Let me give you guys a hug. Mm, oh, that's a hug from me to you welcome everyone welcome to all my subscribers welcome i appreciate all of you so very much i really really do guys you know i just came on real quick to talk to you about the best this is the best life the best best life is living for christ you know and i was at um out earlier and i was like holy spirit what would you have me to speak about if you if I come on today? And he said, the best, this is the best life. The best life. You know, and he said, get on and talk about how amazing this life is living for Christ. And I just want to encourage you, if you haven't allowed the Lord Jesus to come into your heart, truly come into your heart, to take that step and to allow him to come into your heart and ask him to forgive you for all your sins. And cleanse you from all unrighteousness. You know, and let him know that you believe that he died on the cross for your sins. Hallelujah. And he rose on the third day. And it's that simple. And you'll be saved. Amen. Now, you're not going to say you're going to be perfect every single day. No one is. But we strive. Amen. To be better and better and better. And to lay aside every weight and every sin that so easily beset us. Yeah, guys. Um. I tell you, it's, it's blessed. It's a blessed, blessed life. I love it. I enjoy it. Um, I wouldn't trade this life for nothing in the world. I wish that, you know, back in the day was more like religion, you know, growing up in the church, you know, um, just a form of godliness going to church, that this, that, and the other. Not really, really a close, close relationship with God until later on in life. And now I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, this is a beautiful, beautiful life. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I tell you, you know, God has done so many things in my life. Um, I can think back and then even when I look at my pictures uh, way back, like two years ago, three years ago, and I see where God brought me from, I'm like, who, you were transforming so fast. Oh my gosh. And what, I, what God has allowed me to evolve even still now, I'm still evolving. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so amazed at uh, what God is doing. You know, it, it really is exciting. I'm telling you guys, if you have not tapped in to um, knowing the Lord as your personal Savior, I'm, I, I, I urge you, I urge you, as the scripture says, taste and see that the Lord is good. I'm telling you. You cannot go wrong, I'm telling you, with this life. You know, um, his yoke is easy and the burdens are light. You know, when I, I can remember so many times wearing and doing this and doing that and trying to make it on my own without the Lord. But it's so much easier to have him. It's so much easier to serve him. It's so much easier to just live this life knowing that he has our back knowing that he is watching over us, knowing that he is providing for us. It's so much easier. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. I'm just so excited about Jesus. You know, every day, and I always say this to you guys, and I you know a lot of people say, well, how can you be so happy all the time? Well, one thing I can say for sure is that I have a peace that surpasses all understanding that keeps my heart and my mind through Christ Jesus. So the peace of God, gives me that subtleness in my spirit to know that I don't have to worry about nothing. When you trust God and you know that he's making ways out of no way for you and he's always got these doors open for you and every time you turn around, a blessing here, a blessing there, things are just constantly flowing, you know, 
you know that God is on your side. God is on your side. You know, and I know a lot of times people say, well, I don't know because this person said this and this person said that and this person thinking this. And it doesn't matter, truly, 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 guys, what people think or what they say about you. You know, um, at the end of the day, it's all about your relationship with God and how much you are pleasing our Father. How much you are laying aside every way, how much you are getting into the Word of God, meditating on the Word of God. And really, really staying steadfast in the word of God. I mean, it, it's so important. You know, we, it's so much going on in the world. Um, I tell you, um, when the Bible talks about people's hearts going to fail them because of different things, fear and all that, you know, because so much is going on in the world. And that's why I, I always say when people say, you know, I look at the news and I get so scared. I look at the news. I look at this. I look at that. And it puts fear in me. Don't look at it. Pray. You know, if it bothers you to the point where you feel like you have heart palpitations and you just feel like you can't sleep at night, then you need to stop watching it. You really got to stop watching it. But, um, yeah, guys, I, it was a really, really beautiful day today. They said it was supposed to be cloudy here today in Delaware, but it wasn't bad at all. It was a beautiful day. Even if it was cloudy, it would have been a beautiful day for me. But it was a beautiful day. And, um, yeah, I'm just so happy and so grateful. Um to know that we serve a God that is so compassionate. You know, I can think about the times when so many times I felt like I was going to just give up and go under. And I just remember the Holy Spirit just grabbing me, you know, grabbing me and pulling me up. So many times where I felt like I was just going to just give up, you know, crying out to him and just feeling like this, this is too much, you know, and he always, I could actually feel his presence and feel him pulling me up and saying, come on, get yourself together. I got you. I got you. Hallelujah. So many times we think, you know, we look at our family. My eye is watering because my, my fan is on. But so many times we look at our family and we think, you know, to ourselves, well, my family is going to help me with this. And, you know, let me talk to them. But sometimes even when we talk to our family, we still feel like we need God. Someone that is more, um, what's the word I want to use? More, um, open to the point where they're not going to judge us. You know, sometimes we go to family and we may talk to family and, you know, tell them this and tell them that. And you say, well, let me talk to you about this. And you say, you know, confidential. And next thing you know, they're going back telling somebody else, well, don't say anything, but da 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 you know you can't even trust your family sometimes to say things to them personal things you know intimate things you know and sometimes um even spouses you have maybe married to somebody that you've asked them not to say things and going behind your back and maybe even your spouse you know best friends you know co-workers whoever people are not i don't want to say to be not to be trusted per se but in a sense we have to put all our trust in God. We can never really, really, truly say we trust, you know, um, everyone that we know, that we feel like we're close to, you know, or they say they love us. We cannot truly, truly say, okay, I'll put, I'll, I'll put all my trust in that person. The only person that I truly put all my trust in is God because he has shown up every single time. He has never, ever let me down. Never. You know, he's always been right there. Um, I, I was just thinking about it today. All the times I was just thinking back over my life, how many times he's brought me through. I can't even count on my fingers or my toes because it's so many times. What a wonderful, wonderful life living for Christ. I, I promise you, you cannot go wrong. You know, um, the goodness of God, his mercies. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know. Just knowing, hallelujah, that he said, I go to prepare a place for you. Hallelujah, that where I am, ye may be also. Hallelujah, just to know that assurance that God has prepared a place for his children, for us. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and that we are passing through this life. Hallelujah. So don't get too comfortable, guys, because this is a pass-through. Hallelujah. We got much, much more waiting, uh, waiting ahead. Mansions. Hallelujah. Blessings upon blessings. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, enjoy this life. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. But don't get too settled. Hallelujah. Don't get too settled in your in your things, getting too caught up in your material things. But keep your focus on God as he blesses you with those material things. Oh, yeah. These little toys that we have here. But guess what? Our eternal life is more important than anything in this world. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me have a word of prayer with you before I go. Father, I thank you for each one under the sound of my voice. I ask that you will bless them. I ask, Father, that you will allow each and every one, if they haven't received you, to receive you into their heart and that they will come to the knowledge of knowing who you are and that they will begin to taste and see that you are good, you are good, good, and good, and good, good, good. Father, let them know without a shadow of a doubt, hallelujah, that their lives will be changed like a whirlwind once they receive you into their heart. We thank you for making ways for your people. We thank you, oh God, for taking away all doubt and all fear. And we thank you, Father, for touching each one under the sound of my voice. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I love you guys. I truly, truly do. Be encouraged. Know that God is with you. He's working everything out for you. Oh, let me forget. I don't, I don't want to forget my beginning phrase that I always say. This is the day that the Lord has made. But sometimes I forget and I don't say it on the video because I'm so eager to say what the Holy Spirit has given me. But this is the day that the Lord has made. And let's Shabbat God. Let us rejoice and be hey, hey, glad in it. Hallelujah. Hey, let's Shabbat God. He's worthy. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is so good. I love you guys. Be encouraged. And remember, you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood. God bless you. I will talk to you real soon.